and welcome back. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today I have with me the new By Terry Holiday Highlighter. So this is the Twinkle Glow CC Highlighter and it's made in Italy. It looks gorgeous. So let me take this out of the box so you can see this incredible case. This is it. I mean, look at that. So when I saw the photos online, I kind of thought that these were you know, white, this is actually silver, like, you know, like metal silver. And then we have the red for Ruby and, you know, the way the light's hitting, you can kind of see silver, white, and red, but the white is just the way the light's hitting the silver. So it's really just silver and red. You've got the bright gold over here. And then there is a little clasp to lift up. So you can see it's a snap closure. Inside we have a full size mirror. And this is the highlight. So as I mentioned, this is made in Italy. It's seven and a half grams or 0.26 ounces. And it has an approximate shelf life of 12 months. Here is the highlight. And you can see that it's going to be a soft gold. You definitely have quite a bit of gold reflect in there, but it's kind of a champagne base. The shade name of this highlighter is number one, Candlelight Glow. I'm gonna move you in closer and we are going to try this on. On my face right now, I don't have any blush on, but I did put on the Guerlain Holiday Bronzer and I really kind of toned that down. I took off a, a bit of it with a microfiber cloth and then powdered and buffed it out a little bit just so you wouldn't really see it. It wouldn't really interfere with the highlight. So this is what we're starting with. You can still see a little bit of the sheen from the bronzer. It's right here, but we're gonna start with the highlight above that area. We're gonna go in with the Sonia G Mini Cheek. It comes up super easily. And let's just see if that goes on really well. I was just going on lightly so I wouldn't go overboard. And you can see it definitely catches the light well. So there's the highlight. I'm gonna put some, I'll put some up here so you can kind of see the color a little bit better. You can see how gold that is. Dust some on my nose, both my lips. And I cut myself with my fingernail on my chin today, so I apologize for that. I didn't want to go in heavy with the makeup because it is, it was bleeding a little bit. All right, so let me know what you guys think about this. I'm gonna apply just a little bit more and see exactly how bright it can get on this side. All right, so that gets pretty bright. So this is a more subtle, this one's a bit brighter. This definitely gets brighter than the new Pat McGrath, in my opinion. So here's the highlight from a distance. This is the more subtle application side. This is the brighter application. And you can see that the gold really comes through. You have a bright gold sheen to it and I think, you know, if you're looking for a soft yellow gold, this is a good choice. The powder itself, the formula of this feels like a powder, like a powder blush or something like that. It's not like super baked or anything like that. It really just feels like a powder product. And as such, it really applies pretty e easily and evenly. Now for me personally, this is a little bit bright, a little bit golder than what I would typically choose. So I'm gonna take the base one brush from Sonia G and I'm just gonna kind of buff this a little bit and see how it does. So that really toned it down and made it more subtle. And I just see like a little bit of that gold. I think it's definitely not as dark. And actually I like that better for me I think it actually really gives a nice highlight and emphasizes my cheekbone actually a little bit there. What do you guys think? I'd love to know what you guys think down below in the comments. Now let's go over my first impressions for this. First of all, the packaging, it, I mean, it's gorgeous. One thing to note though, obviously this is raised. So depending on how you store your compacts, 
that may or may not be an issue. It doesn't bother me at all. I think it's gorgeous. It's definitely something that you could keep out on your vanity. And I love the shade of red they use here. It's like a nice deep red. <clears throat> the highlight itself is a great product. I think the formula is nice. It goes on well, it's easy to use, and you can definitely get it on the blingier side or make it a little bit more subtle depending on your preference. As for the particular shade, I think it's a little bit too gold for me. I prefer something slightly cooler than this. This is definitely a little bit warmer than what I typically go for. However, I think it's a gorgeous highlighter and you know, just because the color shade isn't my personal preference doesn't take away from the beauty of this highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a few comparisons. I'm gonna start off with the Chanel Duo de Camellia, and we're just gonna swatch the gold side of this. And they are very different. You can see that the Chanel is gonna be a lighter, paler gold. Moving on to the Chanel Metal Peach. Now, keep in mind that this one actually swatches darker than it is on the skin. So you can see the color is a little bit similar. The By Terry is gonna be a little bit peachier and a little bit warmer tone than the Chanel. However, you get a lot more impact from the By Terry than you do from the Chanel. This is a firmly baked formula and as such, it's much harder to get the pigment onto a brush and then onto your cheek. It's always a subtle application with the Chanel, whereas the By Terry, you can see, you get a lot more of that gold. <laughs> and with the By Terry, you can see that you get a lot more of that gold shining through. Next, we have the Chantecaille Eclat Brillant. This is the holiday highlighter from last year. And this is gonna be a brighter gold as well. Moving on to the La Mer The Glow highlighter. We're just gonna swatch the powder side. And this is a peachy shade. You can see that they're kind of similar, but the La Mer is gonna have a little bit more rose in there. It's a rosy peach instead of like a warmer yellow tone peach. Next up, we're looking at the Chantecaille Radiant Chic Cheek and Highlight Duo. This is the coral version. And here's the highlight from that. You can see that that one is fairly similar in color. Again, the Chantecaille is gonna be a little bit peachier, a little bit more pink in there versus the yellow in the By Terry. And again, the By Terry is a little different because that yellow gold, that reflect there, really shines through a bit more than the Chantecaille does. Next up, we're going into the Suku 102 cheek palette. We're gonna check this shade. Oh, this one's more gold as well. You can see it does have about the same level of warmth, but the By Terry has that peachy tone to it. And last up, we're taking the Hourglass Metallic Strobe palette and we're gonna check the gold in the middle. That's called Pure Strobe Light. Nope, too bright. So these are my comparisons for the By Terry highlight. So again, we have the By Terry Chanel Duo de Camellia, Chanel Metal Peach. Then we have the Chantecaille Eclat Brillant from last year's holiday, the La Mer The Glow highlighter. Then we have the Chantecaille Coral Duo from the Radiant Chic Cheek and Highlight Duo. Next up is the Suku 102 cheek palette. And finally, we have the Hourglass Metallic Strobe Palette. So just one more time, you can see how bright you can get it. And again, this was a subtle application that got buffed out, so you can see how light it goes. It definitely has a soft, warm, golden glow to it. So if that is something that interests you, you know, this is a great highlighter to pick up. And I think the name for this is very apt, <laughs> Candlelight Glow. It really does remind me of Candlelight. So I think the name is a very good fit for this particular product. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please make sure you hit that and the notification bell. I have a few videos that are coming up that will be at different times. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when they pop up. And thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them down below. I love interacting with you through the comments and on Instagram as well. So please follow me there. I'm at Alexis Jong. I also post a ton of sales information in my stories on Instagram. So definitely something you don't wanna miss. 
and I will see you soon. Thanks so much and have a great day.